Welcome to chapter six. This is an introduction to uh, fraction operations with fractions. And the first thing we're going to look at is um, the term divisible or divisibility as well as factors. So a lot of similarity there. So first of all, divisibility refers to what numbers will divide evenly into another number. Okay. So for example, we've got uh, 10 here. That's our number, <clears throat> excuse me, the numbers that will evenly go into 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. Okay, so that means 10 is divisible by 1, 2, 5, and 10. Okay, so that's how we use that word divisible, okay, or divisibility. Um, now, factors is, is very similar. Um, so factors are the numbers that divide evenly into another number. Okay, so all these that we listed right here for 10, all those that uh, 10 is divisible by, those are our factors. Okay, those are the factors. Okay. Now, I want to show you uh, just a real quick here. I want to show you um, just a little bit of a visual on um, divisible and what we're really talking about. So, and I'll use that same example of 10. So, if I have 10 dots, one, two, three, mm -hmm, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. <clears throat> Okay, so it's divisible by one. That means we have we have a group of one there, another group of one, another one, another one, another one. So one goes into ten, ten times. There's ten groups of one. Okay. We also two is also another factor. Here are the two. This is what we mean by divisible. So there's a two, there's a two, there's a two, another one, and another one. And there's nothing left over, and there's no spaces or gaps, right? So 2 goes into 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. We can also look at groups of 5, right? Uh, here's a group of 5, and there's another group of 5. So we have two fives. There's two fives in 10. So uh, 5 goes evenly into 10. That's why it's a, a factor. That's why 10 is divisible by 5. Again, there's nothing left over, no spaces anywhere or anything like that. Okay? And then the last one to consider is we have one group of 10 that goes into 10. <laughs> okay? So again, so that's what I just wanted to give you a little bit of a visual when it comes to um, divisibility. Okay? So that's what we're talking about. Now, let's take a look at um, some examples here. Let's look at um, these numbers here. So factors, we want to know what the factors of these numbers are. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a couple of these. I won't do all three of them. Um, but I'm doing these uh, basically so that we can try and use these, uh, these words, divisible and factors, in a sentence to describe some of the stuff. So let's, let's list the factors of 24. So 1 is, 1 will always be a factor of a whole number. So 1, 2, see if I miss any. 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Okay. As soon as you get to halfway, then your, ne your next number, or sorry, next factor will always be the number itself, right? 24 goes into 24 once. Okay, let's try 36. See what numbers go in there. And you pause. Give this a try if you'd like. Okay, so our factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, um, 9, 12, let's see, 18. And 18 is halfway, so our next one is 36. Hmm, did I miss any? I don't think so. I think that's good. Okay, now using our 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 uh, words here, factor. Use the word factor to describe um, these numbers here. We would say that 
1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24 are factors of 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 36 are factors of 36. Okay. Now, to use the word divisible, we would say 24 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. 36 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. And that's how we'd use those, um, those words.